exciting stuff I have for you. I know I've been telling you guys for the past few days that I have some, or even from last week, that I have some new 3M products that are here. They are here on the premises, ready and willing to show you what they do because I'm really excited about them. So you guys, we have our new grinding wheels and their texturing wheels. So I'm gonna show you guys how amazing Home Depot and just pick up as an abrasive. It's a very high level way of grinding and texturizing. So you guys, without any further ado, let me show you that it is the debut day of the new products. They're really cute. So you guys, let's take a look at them. So we have, there's this 36 grit. Yeah, they're so new, I don't even have stamps and I don't even know if I'm even gonna get a stamp. It is like volcano action here, like lava. And this is the 60 grit. So these are the triamite. 3M-ite, okay? They're 3M-ite, and they come in the 120. So these are excellent for texturizing. You guys have to see this. So we've got 36, 60, 80 grit, and the 120 grit, and this is the 3M-ite. And this is a kit that they come already pre-mounted with the cushions. The, the little cushions and the backing plate. So there's a whole set, it's already on my website, but I'm gonna start showing you guys what they do. I know they look like they're just brown, but you guys don't understand. I actually didn't, I had Kristen not mount all of these so you guys can see. They are extremely heavy duty. I can't even take it off now. Here, this one's good. And they are really, really durable, so they, have a, they're a cloth back, extremely durable, last a very long time. And this, did I mention they're 3M? Look, there's a 3M logo underneath, just so you know what they look like underneath. It's a 3M little logo right there. Okay, so let me go ahead and start, start showing you what they do. So you guys, so hi everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today is a debut show of some new products. And I'm gonna show you guys how to texture and make your own tools using inexpensive stuff. You can go even in your husband's uh, tool box and take these, go, or your own toolbox, that's true. But some of these things guys have laying around, they're really, really inexpensive. You can get them at any kind of hardware store. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own stamps using these wheels and how to texturize. So today will be kind of something new and different that we haven't done before. Um, so you guys, so who is here, Kristen? Tell us, tell me. We've, oh nice, Deborah, Nicole, and Linda, good. I'm happy, you guys are gonna like this. And we've got Claire, Debbie, and Susan, welcome, welcome. Nice, Carol, Bonnie, Serena, Heidi, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Uh, we got Carolyn, Kat, and hi, my Debbie, nice to see you. Uh, thank you so much for sharing. Okay. Oh, so James Wall just said that the more the more plumbing he does after 40 years, the more he, hashtag, I love my jewel tool. I didn't understand. He just loves it. I guess, you know, he, I guess, you know, plumbers actually can sharpen some of their tools too, I remember. Very important, the threads and all that. So anyways, so uh, we've got Bar uh, Barbara's, uh -huh. oh my God, Barbara. Barbara just stated right now in a comment that she used, she just did her very first inlay uh, ring. And she, was it a ring? Yes, a ring using only her jewel tool. She didn't use her old nasty hand files, she says. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Barb. So happy for you. I bet you your hands thank you too. Your fingers, your hands, you know. 
so hi hey helen wagner welcome welcome all my youtube friends you guys and we have tom and who's the other one wendy oh wendy's on hey you guys my whole part the party has begun all my loved ones are here so thank you very much for coming and watching so you guys let me start showing you guys what these bad boys do they're really cool so i'm going to show you guys how to um make a tool and you know what you guys i think i really think that there's so many different shapes and so many different ideas you can do i think we're gonna spill over until tomorrow to continue even making more because i want more designs and i want to show them all to you so this is just the tip of the iceberg if you know what i mean what i mean so let's get started so i'm going to show you guys the wheels what do i have okay so just to see up close you guys this is the 36 grit i mean it's a bad mama dama are you listening like look at it but it gives the most awesomest texture so all the other ones are not as aggressive but they do have a really nice texture that they give and grind like nobody's business they have a very very long lifespan you uh really we've been testing these out for a while like almost a year and they're still going strong so you get really what you pay for on these so i'm going to run this and i'm going to just see what it looks like on metal watch this so let's go ahead and run it so like let's say i want to just take a piece here let's just take a piece of silver so this is a silver ring you guys see that just a regular silver ring and if i wanted to put like some textures in it let's see what the happens oh my god you know what they call this they call this like the diamond cut look are you guys seeing this This is like a diamond cut look. I, I, is that showing up, Yarrow? Okay. So this, oh, you guys don't understand. It's really nicely cut, a nice bright cut. Really, oh, I'm really loving this. I don't even want to cross pattern it. So if you guys have anything that is boring, a boring bead, and you want to spruce it up, this is just a quick fixer upper. Like, look, you guys. Like, I'm barely touching it. Like, you just can barely, like, touch it. And look, you see the mark that it makes? And it's, like, awesome. Oh, my God. Yara, I'm loving this. You know, we used to have a really expensive tool that would do a pattern like this as a jeweler. Oh, my God. Are you guys seeing this? From this, whatever that is this it's so so you guys if you guys like this texture let me know give me some love give me some hearts but I just want you guys to know that you guys I am like in awe I, I don't know is the camera doing it justice Yarrow yeah, yeah. really because I okay so just so you know it's very like cut beautifully it's very deep so this oh my god you guys have no idea how many people would go crazy over this this is what people kept asking me in europe had i known i would have showed them this but who cares you guys get first dibs but so do you guys see that oh so you can even change it up like you can even change it so that it's not even in the same direction so like let's say if i wanted to just i don't even know what i'm doing at this point here so let's just turn it in. i mean just a little touch and you get this bright it's like crazy like like nuts and then like let's say i want to change it up oh wow and you don't oh i'm and look at this oh <gasps> oh my god look at that texture like this is nuts you can just do even a random so even if you're gonna do like let's say that let's say i did this like i don't know what i'm doing right now but so this is our new michelle i love michelle michelle says she just got here what wheel is that so this is our new uh texturing wheel and grinding wheel so look i'm just gonna just yeah we actually have these up already on our website you know you guys this was uh something that i've been working on so let's say you 
you know, want to patina. You had some, you know, a uh, different colored look underneath. And you just want to kind of give it a little je ne sais quoi, if you know what I mean. Just to give you an idea of what we're doing. Like, look at how that color just pops underneath. That is like nutso, guys. Oh my god, I'm so loving that. No, you don't want to run. Uh, if you're going to do anything, you should do it beforehand. So this is, oh my god, and it feels so good. It doesn't even feel rough, you guys. So it feels, it's very wearable. It's actually very nice. I, I would even say, like, don't even bother, you know, running a brush over it, Yaro, at all. I mean, not at all. It's so, I want to wear this. So, like, look. So this is one direction, and this is the other little pattern that we did right there, the little cross, cross hatch, and then I put some kind of my little sharpie in between to show you guys if you want to do a background. But anything that is a little on the boring side that you even already have, like this is way cool to brighten it up. So that is the 36 grit. Now, let me show you what the 60 grit does. Okay, this is just as aggressive. So I'm going to, almost just as aggressive. So I'm going to show you guys, what am I, right? I did this whole ring, darn it. I have no more to show you. Let me show you. <laughs> Good job, Ani. I know, but I like the dome. Hold on, let me find something, guys. I got something here. Let me go ahead. Yeah, she does. Uh, so look, the second I touch it, are you guys seeing how bright cut it gets? Are you with me? This is something, someone would think this was like a legit diamond cut. Are you guys seeing this? So I'll keep going. So you just keep it at an angle and keep going. Oh my God, I know I'm gonna get phone calls from a certain someone today saying, give me that wheel, Ani. Yeah, and so because you see what you're doing, you can create the design like so perfectly and keep going, look at that. I don't even know what I'm, at. maybe I'll do a little crosshatch action, hold on. But I just love it, you guys, it's so pretty. Here, let's do a little design to it. Oh, wow, ha really? So Heidi says she does this texture with a hammer, not nearly as fast, no. And you can really pinpoint what you want to do, too. Do you know what I mean? Like, you can really, and it's so smooth. What's nice is, okay, so Heidi just mentioned, she <laughs> hold on, she just does this with a hammer, but the difference between this, put my palm underneath, the difference between this cut and the hammer is this one is giving you a bright cut. Like a bright, we call this like a diamond cut. So it's really, it's pretty. I don't know if the camera is doing it justice because there's different layer, like different, um, different heights, different cuts. They're not uniform. So you definitely know it's a texture and not like a file because a file is going to give you an identical grind where this one the light is just dancing off like really dancing off oh it's just gorgeous so that's the that's not even the 36 grit that's the 80 i mean that's the 60. then if you want to jump this is the 80 grit dear lord and remember these have the longest lifespan these are very very long life so so this one also is going to give you a bright you guys see, each one has a different texture. That's what I love about them. So even if you have like a little round bead and you wanna do this, like look at this. Oh my God. Just a light little touch. So these are really, like honestly you guys, I'll be really honest with you. They're gonna last you a long time. These are definitely worth keeping around.
Yes. So someone saying, uh, who's saying that? Wendy. Oh, Wendy. Hi, Wendy. Wendy's saying she's doing a class with um, Lisa. I forgot her name. Um, who what? Leslie Vill Valerio or something. And she says that these wheels would be perfect. Really pretty. Okay. Then then so then you also get a 120 grit. And I'll show you that because this is what I'm here for. I want to show you what each one does. So like even if you just want like quick like little po pops. Just like little pops of these cut give you a bright cut. Like I don't even know what I'm doing. But just anything. We're not even doing hardcore facets. I just am barely touching it, you guys. Can you guys hear that? Here, look, and then I can change it around and change the little hammered look. But it's a bright cut. I just want you guys to see that. I don't know, can you see that? So the 120 is just also as aggressive. Look. It's a little finer, but it gives a really fine, like really nice. Yes, that's true. So the benefits of doing this, besides it getting the bright cut, it's not going to change the shape of, oh, sorry. It's not going to change the shape of the piece like a hammer would because the hammer is going to forge. Why is it doing that? I'm very blurry. Hold on, guys. Yarrow is coming to help me. I'm doing it. Hold on. that more focus yeah so yes yeah, so when you're going to use a hammer you will change the like the shape you couldn't even do this with a hammer you'd have to find something and then it gets stretched out more as you hammer so this is a really cool way of doing it anything that you have domed it really highlights the dome like even if you wanted to do like flat let me show you guys a flat one hold on let's show you guys something on a flat surface so uh, look, you guys, I barely, where am I? Here, let's do it on the sand finish side. So, like, I barely am going to, like, touch it. And, like, look at the, look at the, look at what you get. Oh, my God. I, like, watch, just watching this is so satisfying, you guys, for me. Okay, are you guys seeing this? Okay, that's that. That's so, that is so pretty, you guys. I don't know. Can you guys see that? I mean, you can get crazy and do whatever else you want, but it's like a bright cut. I don't know how to explain it. So if you push a little bit more, the cut even gets more. And you can even see some chunks flying out because it's very, it's cutting it like a diamond cut. We used to call this. So I did one more pass and I got this. Right, Heidi? I'm loving this, too. And it's smooth, you guys. It's like a, like, oh, my God. I want to do another side. So let's do, so let's say that I want to uh, do that same. But do you guys see what I mean when it cuts? It's bright. It's a bright cut. Oh, it's delicious. It's an immediate cut. So the, the, the quick, the as soon as you touch it, look at how it cuts. So you don't have to bear into it a light little skip over. Even something thin, it'll even do. Oh, my God. Do you, but do you guys see how it cuts? Like, look at the line pattern that it gives you. It's just delicious. Okay, so I, I went ahead and did this. You guys see that? So I did that. So now I kind of want to shift it. How should I shift it? Let me shift it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to actually show you something that um, it'll, it's not eating away. It's not like a grinder. It's kind of like like scraping it and poking it like skates. Oh, my God. How pretty is this? It's just kind of like getting in there and like kind of engraving it, I would say, like kind of like a diamond cut. How pretty. You guys like this one? I kind of did a little different pattern but you can even do more like you can cut it in more give yourself more highlights whatever you want that's the so that's the beauty 
no one would be able to replicate this from you like you know what i mean it's just like your own design very yes it definitely looks very luxe and high end okay so i want to show you guys like this is the worst one okay so this is i don't have my millimeter gauge yarrow how many um let me give you guys let me uh, give you guys a millimeter this is i just used a 36 so i used the 36 grit and i just want you to know that every grade is going to give you a bright cut I would say the line marks get thinner is what happens. So each grade, so the 36, the 60, the 80, and the 120 are all going to give you a bright cut, but the cut just the f the line becomes a little thinner. So it's a different yeah, because of the different coarseness and the grain that's scraping, but what's nice is they have a nice bright cut to it. So let me put that there. So look, so like this one, for example, how many gauge is this? It's okay. We can do it manually. So this is, let's see how much this is. So this is 0.6 millimeters, this gauge. How about this one, this little piece of copper? Yeah, the basket weave. Okay, so look, so let me use the coarsest one so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So this is less than a millimeter thickness, which is pretty thin. Like I even have stuff that is like a like paper thin. Like look at this one. Like I could bend it with my hand. Like look, even this you can do. Like see, even super thin. Oh yeah, you can work on super thin. Don't be afraid. Okay, so just I just want to show you the thinness. So look, or here, let's do the little doggy. Hi, doggy. So you guys see? I'm giving him fur. Oh my God, Yarrow does look like hair. But should I go in the other direction? Oh well, sorry. I made a little uh, hair fuzzy hair on his nose. You guys see that? <laughs> so cute. How cute is that? But do you guys see how it's like a sweeping? Oh, it's so awesome. Look at that. Oh. So you can do this, you guys. I'm going to go actually in this direction. Yes. Yes. So the patina would be nice. And then you can polish the top with the scratch erases. I mean, I'm telling. Very creative. This is what. I really wanted for you guys like super creative like you can keep the lines going you can give them a little hairdo at the top right here you know all sorts of exciting stuff you can do you can play around with all textures but I just want you guys to see that it's just giving it a bright cut it's not really like oh wow it's not really um, like grinding I would say so yeah, so the thickness was half a millimeter, just to give you guys an idea. So cute, hi little fella. So anyways, so that is these wheels. And so we've got the 36, we've got the 60, the 80 grit, and the 120 grit. And like I said, each one will give you, like even the 80 grit, you guys, look. Even the 80 grit gives a really cool like texture, you know, like look. You guys see how bright cut it get you get? You put the item on the screen. Like look at that. And so you can just even Who? Hi Leslie. Leslie has Oh my god, Leslie. This looks like your dog. We just did this dog, and today she was showing a cute little adorable video of her dog. Leslie, look, this looks like your dog. So, like, so do you see what I mean? That you're still going to get those bright cuts, but it just gets finer. So this is the 80 grit, but it's still so pretty. So if it's something that you don't want heavily, and let's compare that to, like, a 60, for example. Okay, so now, I'm the, so right after this, you guys, 
I'm going to do use these same wheels and I'm going to actually um, uh, make a make a, a tool, a stamping tool. It's very addicting. Like, look at what I just did. How pretty is this pattern, you guys? No, right now, David, I uh, I'm only have them in three inch. They might be available in four inch later, but it's not right now. We'll just keep you posted. Okay, so you guys, with these same wheels, since they're amazing for grinding, you can grind your, yeah. So I'm gonna take this little chisel. So now I'm grabbing these chisels, okay? So I have a few different shapes, you guys, and they're really old, I don't know. I've got a round one, I wanna make like a little star at the tip. You can even make like a little, uh, we can drill a hole in it and it becomes a cool texturizer. Here's a pointed tip. Like there's so many things I, I can show you guys. So let's just keep going. I'm gonna do the big, the more obvious one and I'm gonna put little grooves in it so you can make a textured piece. Just real quick, you guys, like, like let's show you. Okay, so if it's something that I need to heavily grind, I'll probably use like maybe the 80 grit. Let's So let's try the 80 grit. Am I up on the top? Okay, so, but do you guys see like they're unfazed? Like nothing gets, like they're like, they're non-loading, they last and last. Yeah, even soft metals like copper won't load them up. They're three mite. They're so high quality 3M stuff, it's not even funny. So you guys, I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this chisel. So quick, wait, be before I start, I want you to blacken the tip, okay? And I'm gonna, you guys have seen this during my sharpening segments. And here, you can either keep that same angle or you can change it. So let's say we wanna keep that same pitch, okay? So you're just going to start off in the heel. Again, I'm holding with my left, using my index finger to guide the neck of the chicken. You guys see that? So I'm going to touch the back heel. Look, see where I'm making contact? Oh, I'm right there. And now I'm going to take it and go upward. I'm going to like take it and pop it up. So I'm right there. But do you see the second you touch it, you're done. Look at that. Look at how perfect and flat that is. So we're going to do the same on the back. So pop, uh, hold it right here. So we're nice and even. And now I'm gonna pop it up nice and flat and there you go. There you go, perfect. You guys see that, super fast. Now, if you wanna take this to like a finer polish, you can go to, now you can actually take two roads. You can e actually go down the road of Trizac or you can go down the easy road and use the medium Scotch-Brite. The only problem with the medium Scotch-Brite is you don't want the scratch eraser. You don't want to like kill that super sharp edge. So because of that, I'm going to stick to the medium and th the Trizac medium. So to keep this super shiny will now translate into a super shiny stamp when I hit it. On the so here you go. So again, holding at the heel and popping up. You guys see that? Super smooth, really quick, and you get that really smooth finish. Now we're gonna flip it around the back, and there you go. You can go finer in the grades with your Trizac, you guys, to get even a higher polish. Like, seriously. Like, I, I'm gonna jump from the medium. I'll go straight to the very fine, just to give you an idea. I really wanna get through this today and continue tomorrow because like the to make the tools oh my god you guys first of all it's super fun and it's endless and you can make such unique little tools you know what i mean so do you see with the trizac you already get a shine do you guys see that it's already a shine and there you go so that's going to translate into a really nice sharp hit for us you guys see that oh oh hello it's a little sharp there now if someone wants even a higher polish, so that's the very fine. So if you want a higher polish, you guys, you can definitely go to like your felt wheel and get a nice flat polish. Again, we're gonna be heel up, heel and then up. 
so this is how I do it. You don't have to do it. I'm just giving you options. We all love options. So if you guys have any questions while I'm here, let me know. So again, I'm going to hold it in this direction and hold it on the back and pop it up. Yep, I'm listening. No water on these. So the benefit of having a jewel tool, you guys. Okay, you know, we totally... Okay, are you guys seeing this? Would that take me a minute to do that? Like, that's that's psycho. Okay, so no. So I'm going to... So now I'm going to go on and put... So that is really sharp, you guys. Like, this is so sharp. I know I can, like, slice wood. I can totally carve wood with this. <laughs> so anyways that was against the green so you guys uh, uh, you don't need water during the grinding process at all the benefit of having a jewel tool is the airflow within your disc as you know when we grind the stone we're just using the water as a lubricant for the diamond wheels not a coolant so you don't need water to cool your tool. Your tool will always stay cool and will not remove the temper out of it because the discs have an open slot design. And as it spins, it creates like almost uh, an airflow. The airflow is like air conditioned to this guy right here. And not only that, so when it's polishing or grinding, it has, uh, if the heat builds up, the heat has an area to escape through the holes versus a solid wheel that you're grinding on, like a grinding wheel. The grinding wheel has nowhere for the heat to escape, so it just kind of gets trapped there and transfers onto your tool and then removes the temper out of the metal if you don't cinch it in water. So isn't that great? Aren't you happy you have a jolt tool? That's how the other half live, you guys. I always notice this. When I have, to, like... What? Quench, 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 quench. What did I say? Cinch, cinch. What the hell? Anyways, so you guys, let's go ahead and see what this sharp point is going to do. And then I'm going to put um, designs in it and show you a different way to work. You guys see this? She's so cute. What's her name? Loren. Congratulations. Loren just bought the whole kit. She bought the one that's mounted and she's excited. She said she has the older model back from the Glasscraft and Beach Show in Las Vegas. So wow. And she says she loves it. So congratulations to the new family member coming straight to you. You'll, you'll see it next week. So I am going to now, actually, I, I'll stand up and do this. I have no idea. I really don't have much plates, you guys. I'm foolish. Even like uh, Rita Padula from Impress Art gave me a bunch of stuff and I have it at home because I play with it at home. So anyways, this is all I've got. So bear with me. So let's say I want to put some like designs in something. So you just hold it right here and give it a little pout. Do you guys see that? Oh, it's a bright shine. I'm not doing this that good, you guys. Huh? Dude, it's like bending. It's not the exact. Maybe I shouldn't do that hard. There you go. Okay, so anyway, so this is this. I'm just going to keep going straight and putting designs in and the edges. But this is what I mean. You can get whatever. But one thing I want you guys to see. Oh, yeah. Can you guys see? Where am I? So, uh, yes, yeah, so I created these little designs. But more importantly, do you guys see how bright and shiny it is inside? That is impressive. So it's, th it's like a shiny um, stamp. And the way to do that is your surface of, hello, <laughs> it's a little close, you guys. So when the surface of your stamp is high polished, anything that you stamp is going to have a bright uh, cut. Yeah, it's lovely. I mean, as a jeweler, even when we use the gravers, we always polish the graver to get a bright cut. Same rules apply. So let's modify this bad boy and put like a little design on it. 
So I actually have, these are our cutting wheels. I'm going to bring my chair over here. Hold on. Let me come over. I'm coming. You guys see how well equipped I am? Oh, you guys have no idea. I really, if you guys know the day I had already with business, just business speaking, you'll be like, wow, and you did a video? So you guys, I just want you to know, whatever I do, I do for you uh, from the bottom of my heart. You know, um, so here, so in, uh, my bench is messy because right after yesterday's live, I had work to do. And again, we don't have like a gazillion people here, you know, during this time. So no one had time to clean up my bench. So it is what it is right now and we're making the best of it and I want to just show you guys some awesome new stuff so you guys I have my cutting wheel on here um, if you guys don't know what this is they're amazing and the the um, this is what I actually use as a bench jeweler on this exact table and some people like some of them are not good quality but if you guys have a hard time um, I'll be putting them up on my website because we used to carry this brand um, with a kit that I had. I had a kit that would polish and then I had the quick change little, what are these? No, I had the 3M little snappy do's with it. So I had a little set. So if you guys are interested, I'll just put them on my site. I, ha I have a, a really good amount of these. So I'm going to, huh. Oh, was the metal curved when I started? No, the metal was not curved when I started. That's why if you guys saw me hammering it, I actually said to myself, oops, I better not push so hard. That was a heavy hammer. So as you can see over here, I, but you know what's weird? I curved it, but nothing like got thinner. It's like crazy. It's like weird. It's like stayed maintained perfectly. So look, if you guys ever need to fix something that curved, here, let me give you a little tip. I just take my little jeweler's um, hammer the one that we polished the other day and super smooth you guys see that see that right there okay so I'm gonna take it like right here you guys see that and you're just gonna lightly tap 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 just keep it evenly across and then if it doesn't get flat I don't know what even material this is yeah I think it's from Rita gave it to me I think it's from impress art who knows whatever we'll make it work but do you see how when you have a polished hammer, everything looks, let me keep it even, hold on, the other way. Let me just do it one more time. There we go. I was doing it for you guys to see, but I couldn't see, but now I can see. So there we go. So let's keep that nice and even. There you go. Thank you. And then, uh, where, where am I? There, I'm nice and straight again. So what's nice is when you have a polished hammer, this is the exact look of what it, I didn't put any marks in it. This is what it looked like before, and it still looks like the same piece. And so that's that. There. Aww, hi Mary. Mary says she so appreciates everything I do. I'm s Aww, I love you, Kat. You know, Kat, Kat says my bench looks real and she adores me for it. You know, you guys, I've told you guys a million times, my dad used to say that you know a, jewel, a good jeweler by just looking at their bench. You know, you start off clean. I always would start off super clean before I can get started. But throughout the day, oh, it would turn out looking like this. That shows someone is working, someone doesn't have time to sit in back and organize. You know, that shows craftsmanship. But you can always clean up later. But I'm just letting you know. This is this is me. This is the real me. You like it or not, it's me, and I love you all. Thank you so much for the love, Cat. So I'm gonna turn and Mary. So I'm gonna turn this up at full speed. And you know, you guys, I am going to here. This is what you can do. Let me be an instructor. Hold on. I was watching um, while I was putting on my makeup today. Francesca Watson kept telling me she's got a really cool group that she's teaching free classes on. And I was watching someone today. Um, she invited, I forgot her name, Carrie? Carrie Story for Metal Clay. And I was interested to see how she's going to make flower 
um, flower leaves with metal clay. So I was watching uh, her today while I was putting my makeup on. And so, you know, Francesca teaches. So she has a really good way of explaining everything she does. So having that in the back of my head right now, I'm going to slow it down a little bit and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So you guys, if you guys see here, let's go ahead and create some lines. Okay, and I just used a little black Sharpie. And let's say that I want to do, I don't know, how many lines should I put? I want to do a little texture. Okay, so wait, but that's, I'll do it on the larger one. Or you can do even a bunch of little textures. You know, maybe we'll do that. Let me do a bunch of little ones. You know? So there, okay? So I just created some lines. You guys see that? I know, it's not like the perfect, but whatever. It's an organic shape stamp, okay, you guys? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my cut cutting wheel. And these are great. If you guys are lazy and you don't want to um, uh, hand uh, like cut with the with the saw blade, and you can't cut it with a a, uh, a cutter, just be careful because they're very brittle and do snap and break. So I do recommend if you're going to use these, I no joke, you guys, I would wear glasses. Just put on my cute little 3M glasses, only because it's not about the particles that I'm going to grind that come off. These separating discs break. However, I've broken probably a thousand plus in my life and none of them have flown at me. They just fall to the floor because they're pretty heavy. Just so you know, but just, I mean, they're not heavy. I mean, they just don't, they have low inertia. Excuse me, Yaro. Okay, so let's go ahead. So what I'm gonna do is, and you guys, by the way, if you guys haven't checked out Francesca's group, you have to be a member of the group to watch her live videos very informative that chick knows her stuff so shout out to francesca watson today so i am going to go ahead and grind you know my eyelashes are hitting these so so i'm gonna just go ahead and hold it right here kind of just don't 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 do it don't push and you'll see already you get a nice little teeth mark actually like a little sharp little you can see just a little you just want to do a little you don't have to go you know a ham and go crazy on it and we'll just do one more right here so you're just going to glide it forward and back no pressure so this also falls into the world of no pushy pushy and if you don't want the sharp edges, you could have ground them off on the jewel tool. But for the most part, let me show you what the back side looks like. You guys see that? You guys see my little teeth? If you want to make one a little deeper, by all means, you can. But for the most part, that'll make a cute little stamp right there. You know, you can even go deeper if you want. Just hold it there. You know, kind of adjust them. Whatever you want. This is your tool. It's custom made for you. You guys see that? So cool. Aren't they cute little suckers? Okay. So from here, now you have the ability to stamp something. I'm going to do the larger plate so you guys can see what the stamp looks like fully. And, you know, you can do all sorts of pretty designs. Here, let's do this. Make sure I got that. Okay, now, oh, this is a harder one. I'm going to hit it harder. There you go. That's my... So this actually has, oh shoot, I'm going to stand up and do this, you guys. I'm not very good at this. There you go. So this is the look. Hold on. This is actually softer. That's super hard. Hold on. Oh, yes. So these are the designs. I'm not going to make a design. Should I? Okay, here, I'll just keep making a design. Here, this is Ani's design. They're cute. So cute. And it's like you don't even have to push so hard. Actually, I like the silver better. Yes, uh, you guys can definitely take this is by all means. Not an instructional video on how to use the stamp. I'm just showing you what the stamp looks oh, so cute. So this is what the stamp looks like. Where are you? 
Hold on. Want to do it here or here? Here, let's leave it here. You definitely get a better shot here. How cute is that, huh? I like them. So from here, do you guys see that? So there. Oh, you're so cute. So Carol says, should I do more than teach? I brighten and lighten her day. Oh, thank you, Carol. I appreciate that. So you guys also, look. L I'm not going to teach you guys how to stamp. You guys can, there's a gazillion people that teach you how to stamp. But one thing I do notice when it comes to stamping, the outsides get a little wonky, like a little lumpy bumpy. Do you guys see that? Where is it? I can actually do the overhead camera, Yara, if you can't get a shot. Yeah. So you see how it can you have spillage on the outside? Oh, nice. So Tom actually said he made some stamps last weekend. Well, Tom, don't be a holdout. Send us some pictures, will you? We want to see what she did. So if that happens, you guys, where you want to just smooth the edges out, by all means, you guys, you can even use your new, <laughs> the new, these new wheels that'll grind them down or if you don't have those i'll give you an alternative you can use your you can use your purple ceramic by all means yeah that's found in your yeah your your typical so that grinds it down beautifully do you guys see that yeah yeah oh lisa you're so cute so do you guys see how that smoothed that down? So now it's cleaner. And then you can definitely, what's it called? You can definitely follow with any of your scratch erasers to give that area a nice smooth finish. So, you know, it's all about, I'm all about, yes, you put an awesome design over that. Yes, you did, we did. But you got to finish it, you know. No one wants things pouring over. And look, let's say we want to smooth that area where I stamped. I should have done this before, what? Hold on. Where am I? Yara, just put a random post, say cutting, uh, cutting wheels. Yeah, so Yara's gonna post the wheels real quick, you guys. So look. Well, not real quick. He'll do it at by the t t today. <laughs> okay, I got yelled at you guys. So look, right here is what we did. Like, look at this design. <laughs> look at this gorgeous stamp I made. Okay, but whatever. Let's show how to make that stamp look phenomenon. So I'm gonna polish it. So we do our sides. You see what I mean? This is what I mean, Jelly Bean. So there's something on the screen. What's on the screen? So yeah, so this is the items that I'm using right now. So right now, I oh my god. Oh my god, who knew this was going to turn out so sexy? So let me keep going. Hold on. Glide it back and forth. And there you go. Hold on, let me get that area better. I know I didn't clean that up with the scratch eraser, but you got to make it look good. Oh, my God. But do you see what I mean? Look, hold on. Let's do this. Maybe the light hits better here. So do you guys see what I mean when you got to finish something properly? Like, that is nuts. So the side's pretty beautiful. That's beautiful. You can, just when it looked plain and boring, like, I don't know, it's, yeah, you can even bend, you can bend this into a ring. I've seen that done. And if you want an extra pop of shine, don't forget, you guys, we have our um, magic buffs. You can just clean that up real quick. Let me wipe it down with the cloth. So I always like to wipe any kind of extra um grime and stuff that i have and just hold it right there and look at how you'll get a quick high polish within seconds okay <laughs> palm underneath i just did the top part you guys see that just really quick i'm gonna actually go a little bit more over here and do this 
Oh my god, hold on. Let me get rid of that. Okay, I'm going to bend it. Hold on. So, I actually had a ring bender earlier, but all my stuff is in here. I'm going to do this by hand. I know, this is not recommended. It's okay. Oh yeah, here, I can do that. I have a ring mandrel. Yarrow really wants me to turn this into a ring. No, it's fine, Yarrow. It's very soft. Hold on, I'm doing it. Uh, literally, I'm. This is my. This is the ring bender. Oh, what is it? Okay, let me see. Okay. Hold on. So let me go ahead, and I need a plier, Yara. The proper way to do it is with a plier. Yara's making me do like half to half stuff here. You get the idea. It could be a ring. Now you made me bend it. No. No. Not my. Not no. You need proper tools to bend it. I don't know where mine are right now, but at the end of the day, that's where we're at. So that looks pretty. Okay, so you guys, what time are we at? Can I do another tool? I'm going to show you guys another tool. Okay. Okay, so you guys, okay, so that was a flat tool. Like, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you guys. Okay, I'm going to do some rounded tools tomorrow. Um, just maybe I can squeeze in some more right now. Give me a second. I'm being told I shouldn't. Okay, so look, let's say you just want to do, like, let's say a square. Like, God, Yaro, these are some cool. Look at Yaro, give me like all these cool little heads. So all of these could be like hacked into something even cooler. Like, this is something that's like a square. Let me show you guys how you can modify. How do these come out? Just pull it? Okay. Okay, got it. Ow. All right. So look, you guys. Look at this one. So like, let's say if I want um, a square. Actually, this is going to have to be done like with the four inch because it's super long. So you can grind screwdrivers into stamps. So you guys see that? It's like a little weird rounded thing. Won't do anything if you use it. But if we grind it, we're going to get a nice, you guys see that? How cool is that? Right there. Make sure it's even too. Like, so just hold, just grind it on both sides. There you go. Done. Boom. Boom. Okay. So from here, I'll use a Trizac because I want it polish, polish. So I'll use the medium Trizac. And I will blacken it because earlier it was, it was, what do you call it? So look, you can either, I'm going to blacken that little tip so you guys can see it. You can even put like designs on here too. Okay, so show. Yeah, my hand's covering it, Yarrow. So you just don't want to move. You can even turn it around. Yeah, the four inch definitely gives you way more clearance. You guys. So yes, so like usually you don't have to work on the sides to get it sharp, but sometimes if you want it really, really sharp, these are pretty good. You can actually touch up the sides, but I'm not going to do that because mine is pretty good. Well, okay, so there you go. See that? So and then again, you can go to a finer grade and get a polish. So this is the four inch wheel because it's long. You guys, you see how long it is? So it's giving me extra clearance. So look, you guys see how much clearance I have? Yeah. Whereas the three inch, yeah, I'd have to start tilting and working on the edge. It's kind of a cool little, hi guys, <laughs> how cute they look. So I'm going to go ahead and just polish that tip up and show you guys how to do a, a little flat one. So again, you just touch it very lightly. Make sure you're nice and even, and we're just polishing it at this point. So do you see how the the five micron will give you that shine? And you don't even have to polish it. Do you guys see that? So nice. So it's super crisp, super flat, really nice, nice sharp edges. That's what you got to make sure you have. And then if you guys want to hammer it, who am I going to hammer? I'll hammer that same silver piece. I'll do the other side. Well. What 
what's gonna happen to this little silver piece? Hold on. Ooh, it's slippery. Oh, how cute! How cute! I have a bunch of little uh, have uh, squares. Oh, it's very loud. Sorry. But well, people are used to these. So it's a cute little square. Oh, you can do like a cute little checkerboard style. Look. Can you see my little squares? How cute are they? Nice. And then listen. And let's say you get crazy. You're like, I'm bored of the uh, the plain square. However, they are cute. You can actually take, again, your cutting wheel and put like a little design in it. Maybe like an X or lines. Like, hold on, let's try something. Or like, let's say, yes, you can either do that like this or you can even use your saw blade, you guys. The saw blade is very difficult to control. Okay, but I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the uh, the cutting wheel. So I'm going to just probably put some lines in it. There you go. There's one line right there. And it's hard. It's hard, you guys. So you definitely wait. Shoot. How cute! I made some cool lines here. That is so cool. <laughs> so, you guys, if can you get can you get a little glimpse of this yarrow? I just put some random lines in it. Can you see? Oh, you can see it without it. How cool. So do you guys see what I did? I just put a little line. I could have made that other one a little deeper. These are cool close-ups, let me tell you. So look, so you see, but so I'm gonna still going to have the square design. And let's say you kind of slipped or did a little zzzz real quick. Guess what you can do? Don't tell anybody. But you can go back to that either that medium or the very fine and just hit the face of it to make sure it's super even. So you can even, yes. So the flex shaft is full speed. Thank you guys for following up on that. So yeah, I actually, so this is kind of good that I did this because I actually did slip and that caused it to roll over a little. So I actually might have to go back. Oops, my bad. It looks good, but I'm still going to hammer the little sucker. Oh, sorry. So look, can you see the lines? I kind of got rid of some of the lines, so let me go back. <laughs> it happened. This is real life. I can't even see what I'm doing. How about this? So just slide it back and forth to make sure you got the whole surface. I think that's good enough. Let's see what it looks like. It's okay. It's not do or die. It's the stamp for crying out loud. Um, what am I going to stamp? Let's stamp this. What do you look like? Let me stand up. Ow. Oh, it looks cute. It's another square with a little texture. Okay, so hold on. Okay, here, look. I'll just do this. Okay, watch. Boy, Rita, wait till you see me now. I'm a stamper. Look how cute these are. So it's like a little design. I know I should have polished it before. Oh, Yara, you need to get in there. You can't really see. There they are. There you guys. So you guys see how I still kept the square? And there's now lines on it. So that's your own little design. You can even make some with like your initial. <laughs> I don't know. Getting creative here. And again, you want to polish that, polish right over that. You're good to go. Smooth it down with the scratch eraser or the felt wheel. That looks like horrible. Look at that. Oh yeah, I have to use a scratch eraser. This is so uneven. Hold on. So 
go there you go like kind of remove the high and low spots let me use a brush to get in there give me a second give me a quick second hold on look at this now oh yeah look at my squares do you see that the middle I did it right here I just did it on the little chevron I don't know I just wanted to show you guys something so you guys see but how you can make your own look at you so you see that there's still squares I just piled them up next to each other you see that okay so that's making stamps now tomorrow so tomorrow you guys I'm gonna get a little bit more creative so these were just more like straight tomorrow I want to do a lot of the round ones put stars put all sorts of so I got a lot of round ones here so like tomorrow this one I want to take and create a little hole in here yeah so I'm, yeah, I'm gonna remove the rust sorry we got rust so I'm going to sharpen the edges and give myself a little hole so I can use that at like a little cup and just use that as like you just do a bunch of texturizing and that's really pretty too you know like a whole bunch you know it's just creativity and just being a little unique and the the same with this round one and this round one and this little tip so i didn't get to the round ones today and if you guys have like a specific design that you want to see how to make let me know i'm flying solo over here you know you guys i'm only as good as your suggestions here um like there's so like you can even i might e i wanted to even hack uh, Phillips is this called the Phillips yarrow the cross yeah so I was gonna even um, hack these and show you guys how to sharpen even the sides of them so you guys tomorrow is another day and I'll show you guys how to do these um, it will start immediately these tomorrow and I'll just keep listening to your comments and what suggestions you guys want to see I will do that so today these these cutting wheels will be up on our website uh-huh oh they already bought them okay beautiful oh and then the t these are already on our website uh, right now these are the texturizing and grinding wheels these are really super heavy duty so i just want you yeah i just want you guys to know right now yaro's putting them on the screen you're you're not even on the camera there you go there you go yeah so you're gonna get a f so for yeah that's a that's an introductory price you guys all of the brown are introductory prices just so you know and then these little bad boys will be up on our website with it mounted already ready for you to use because they're a little pain in the butt to mount but they come with this the mounting we do everything for you here I just try to make your life easier how about that you know why not you're trying to be creative you're in the zone you know you don't want to fiddle diddly with all sorts of things so you didn't notice everything here at jewel tool is fast fast on fast off fast on fast off <laughs> so you guys um i'm waiting to hear some suggestions on tools um that was a really quick hack what i did i mean that was as easy as it gets um I I would love to hear any more designs you want. I can do more. I can even make one that's a ball. So if you just hammer it's quick little balls, different balls you want, faster the ball. I mean we can it's like I it's endless. It's really un endless the shapes you can create. It's en it's unendless. Yes, it's unendless, okay? That's the urban dictionary. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's the possibilities are endless with the jewel tool. So you guys, um I appreciate you guys watching and I had I don't know about you you guys but I had so much fun texturizing I don't know like to the point where I kept doing it and I could hear in my ear um, them saying okay you need to move on for the stamps but it's just so so addicting remember Kat said sharpening the knives was addicting well girlfriend I got another addiction that you're gonna have to put a patch on to remedy <laughs> the the texturizing like we're talking like even if you just buy a boring bead you guys see how the light catches it 
he's psycho. And then we did the little basket weave. Let's show the basket weave. The is psycho in, oh, that's the wrong way. Hold on. Psycho in an awesome way. Like, look at that. This is very high end. Seriously. I would say that certain brands that I know that are Italian do stuff like this, who do a lot of hand work. But do you see how bright it is? It's a bright. And then this is this other one. And all of it was so effortless. I mean, you can tell someone that you are so welcome, Heidi and Kat. Uh, Rita, Rita, oh, you're welcome, Rita. You guys just know that it was effortless. Like, but, you know, I have customers, and if you're watching, you know who you are who have come to me and said, Ani, I tell them that it's all hand done, takes me hours to do, and they charge a premium because of their unique style. Well, she goes, they don't even know. It doesn't even take me five minutes on the jewel tool. Shh, don't tell anybody. Hand to God, won't ever tell anybody. But this looks like you spent hours of handwork achieving only your unique design. And I am loving it. Like, I can't wait to see your pieces. Like, like Heidi said, you can patina it and then do it to brighten it up. Oh, my God, how awesome. I just did a, a lousy Sharpie. So could you imagine the ideas that are sprawling around in your head, what you can do to get that bright diamond cut? I really want to call this, not even texture, this is more like diamond cut. More like a diamond cut texture, you guys. I don't know. It, because you see how the light catches? As a jeweler, we used to call this the, like a diamond cut. Very nice. Yeah, it really is. So that's that's the little black section I did. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys here tomorrow. Um, but just so you know, the, the 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 this whole set is on our website now. Not the whole, this whatever the the stuff I used to make this. Please come on now. This stuff is already on our website as a kit, mounted, ready to go. And then also the little cutting wheels will be on our website too soon so these little suckers so thank you guys so much for watching oh and i'm gonna announce so these are inductor introductory prices so those you're safe you get them while it's hot what i want to say so like i said the prices for the new wheels are introductory prices so enjoy let me know how they go but i know you're gonna love them um, but I will be announcing a sale, or it might be launching tonight. So we have a sale going on tonight as well. So stay tuned, you guys. Love you all. See you tomorrow, and we'll do more tomorrow. Can't wait. So bring in the ideas. Thanks for watching. Bye, you guys.